This is structure one of the middle school all region keyboard A2. So the purpose with structure one is to give you an opportunity to play while looking at the page. That is the main thing for structure one is that when you perform this, when you do a pass off on this, when you're practicing it, your eyes need to be on the page. What you need to figure out in structure one is when do I absolutely have to look down? Okay. So for example, this beginning section, a lot of left hands here. It's just a descending G scale. Right, left, 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 right, left, 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 right, left, left. Okay. If I'm looking at the page, I can see most of that peripherally. I don't need to look down for every single note, especially when I know that almost all of these are scale steps. There's no big jumps. It's the next note down or the next note up. So learn your way to feel around that uh, or learn how to feel your way around the keyboard there as opposed to looking at it because eventually there's going to be a lot more notes, uh, notes that you need to read there. Okay, so the end of this line, this is from the original, this did not change. Okay, a little day crescendo there, starting at forte, going down to piano. Make sure you follow the stickings, okay? On those quarter notes, those stickings are not optional. You have to follow those because those sync up with what happens later. And if you learn with the wrong stickings now, it's going to cause problems down the road. You're just going to have to relearn it again, okay? So while we're going slow, while we're reading as much as possible, while we've got our eyes on the page, Let's make sure we're looking at R's and L's as well, okay? A couple spots in here where you're gonna have the right hand hop around quite a bit, beginning of the second line, okay? A lot of bumping around for the right hand. Take a quick peek when you're doing that and then get your eyes right back on the page. So I can look at the page and then take a quick peek, find my B and now my eyes are immediately back up here. This is all right hand. There's a dynamic change there to mezzo piano. All right hand. Okay, so every once in a while I'm taking a quick peek kind of down like this without moving my head. Okay, I'm not doing this. I'm just looking down to find my next note like that octave there. I wanted to find my B's before I played them. Okay, but I'm never turning my head down to look at the keyboard. Okay, this next section here where we drop the piano, uh, pick up the measure 10, a lot of right hand. So take a peek, peek down, find my A and my C and then right back on the page. Same thing here, F sharp and A, and then right back on the page, okay? This spot right here, all E's, no need to look down at this. Now right here, this gets a little tricky. Okay, but again, these are scales. Four white notes in a row. Okay, if you practice while looking at it, you don't have to stare at the keyboard. You can even get that D sharp correctly without looking down at the keyboard, okay? So learn to play with your eyes on the page. Okay, one quick note about this one, in measure 14, what is that last 16th note? Okay, it's not a D, it's a D sharp. Because that D sharp is still good from the beginning, okay? And then the last measure, a lot of moving around the right hand. Okay, so this would be, Maybe one of a couple spots, maybe measure four also falls in this category, but this would be one section where I say, okay, memorize this and look down at the keyboard because you're going to be moving around a lot, okay? But you want to save those. You want to be able to do 90% of this while looking at the page. So that's your big task, not just to learn it, okay, but to learn it with the correct stickings, the correct dynamics and read. Look at the page while you play.